These are the Pyrenees. The mountain range acts as a natural border separating the Iberian Peninsula from the rest of Europe. It spans over 430k, expanding between Spain and France, and reaches elevation exceeding 3,400 meters. And it's simply breathtaking. It also happens to be the first stage on the famous Camino de Santiago, for many considered the cursed, infamous, or the hardest climb on this famous route. It is closed for public from November to April, caused to the extreme weather conditions and impossible to cross terrain, but when it reopens, it is still the most difficult part of this century-old walk. It is an arduous journey that demands cautions and safety measures to be learned and followed. We would love to commemorate all of our missing pilgrims that cross that never-ending 24k climb and learn from the stories how to take an extra precautions to do it in the safest possible way. It's not about freaking out, it's about knowing all the things that could possibly go wrong. How are you feeling? Good. Wow. Well, well, just anything else? It's your first day. It's our first day on the Camino, French Camino. Anything else? Scared about the up here? The first thing we check before we go is the weather. April may still be rough. Although the pass is open, there might still be some snow and strong wind. Not fun. So, dressing properly is a must. What? Refuge d'Horizon. Desert. 7 km. 7 km. And. and Route Napoleon. Aha. Uh -huh. What is this written? Route Napoleon. And why this is Route Napoleon, baby? Because Napoleon went through there. Go, wow, super, super. Allo, allo, let's go. Allons-y, allons-y. Allo, how many to the Rances Vayas? Rances Vayas, 24. Point 3 kilometers. You can see straight away that you are fluent in French, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cello, let's go. And when it's hot, using sunscreen and staying hydrated may save you from a lot of troubles. My best friends are the walking poles. They give me extra support when going up and going down, whenever I need it.
Coco está muy bien, ¿eh? ¿Eh? How are you? Not far. Not Only far. one kilometer and a half left. And if you find this video useful and you like it, so consider subscribing. There's a red button just over there. It helps us to be more visible as well as other pilgrims to receive this video. There's also the like button. Why not? And most importantly, there is a section of comments just below the video where you can ask any questions as well share some wisdom with other 10,000 people which are on our channel. Actually 11. Yeah, it's already 11. Woo! Be in the next one. Be with us. Camino Teles. Let's go. People are driven by the strength of the first day, motivation, faith, you call it, or sometimes even thick-headedness, if it actually exists. But you can divide the first day in two. You can stay after seven kilometers in Orison or in Borda, and then the next day you can start again. And it might be a better solution if you're not trained, if you're not used to walking in mountains, because it can be a stairway to hell, not to hell, to hell. Food supply and water supply that you take with you, it's absolutely a must because the first place you can get something extra, it's a little truck van, five, six hours from the place where you start. So be prepared, be prepared. I feel weak. You feel weak? Yeah. 
and this is why I don't know maybe because we stopped walking for two weeks just to rest from the Portuguese way so it's been hard to start after two weeks of not walking and start walking up here straight away ah. Should we go, baby? Let's go, let's what go. What do you think? Can we manage? Let's go. How many kilometers left for... Ah, and we nearly there. <laughs> 10 kilometers? Yeah. You're doing great. After walking many of Caminos, we understood one thing. The Camino de Santiago is a really transformational journey that can change your life as it's changed ours. So we designed a really special thing called the journey within a journal for Camino de Santiago, which will take you through different stages of the Camino. The physical part, the emotional part, the mental part, and also the spiritual part. It's divided into three different parts, the pre-Camino, a walk in the Camino as well, the post-Camino, which will help you not only to prepare, but also to integrate the knowledge of the Camino inside your day-to-day -day life. We've designed it with lots of love, having in consideration many of the difficult days of Camino de Santiago. So for more information about this, journal go to description there is a link to the website and you know what prepare for Camino today and get it now You know, we all forget that the mountains has its rules. And if you fail to comply, if you forgot, if you take them too easy, you might pay a price. And sometimes the price can be really high. Thank you. 